Hi, I'm Dr. May. This is Stella. Stella has a condition of malocclusion where her teeth uh, do not meet up properly. Her mouth is formed abnormally. And so we're going to spend some time working on her teeth so that she'll be able to eat better. We've already given her a little pre-medication called midazolam in the muscle. And now we're going to put her in a little box. We're going to give her some gas anesthetic. This anesthetic is isoforine. It'll probably take maybe 10 minutes or so, maybe not that long, but about 10 minutes. Well, basically she has uh, a severe underbite where her bottom teeth are protruding beyond the top teeth. And we already know that her incisors, which are the typical bunny teeth that people think about, the front teeth, are severely overgrown. Uh, we're, we may just end up trimming those back again today. We're ultimately going to end up needing to take those out. But because of that malocclusion, her molars are also all distorted in their shape and their function. So we're going to try to level those all out so that we have a nice flat mouth instead of a stair step kind of fashion. And by doing that, enable her to eat better. And this may take a couple of times to get it completely where it needs to be and will require some continued maintenance even after this uh, to make sure that she, she stays good. Okay, we're going to take her out of the box and put the mask on. Just trying to calm her down. Because they will struggle, as we saw her struggle when we first took her out, uh, it's almost impossible when they're fully awake to get them to take the mask. So the box is a nice way where they're no, they don't feel threatened uh, and they can get a little more groggy from, from the gas before we put this mask on her. Otherwise, we'd really have to hold her and she'd fight that mask a lot more than she does when she's almost, almost asleep. We will just have a blink reflex, and we just generally use uh, those kinds of things to determine her blink reflex is greatly minimized. We're going to put some lubricant in her eyes. We'll turn her down just a little bit, maybe down to about four, to keep her corneas moist. And we'll switch to that little bitty mask that we put on the nose, bit, ultimately. This is a pulse oximeter, kind of measure her heart rate and whether she's oxygenating, getting enough oxygen. These are the lower incisors and these are the upper incisors. You can see that they're not meeting at all. The lower incisors are protruding too far forward and the uppers are behind them. And as a result, there's no grinding surface occurring and because rabbit's teeth grow continuously, they get very long. And at some point, they just can't even open their mouth wide enough to get food in. These teeth are doing really no function. Uh, she can't really grind carrots or those kinds of things or blocks of wood with those because they don't meet. Uh, and we're going to uh, trim those off to be the first thing that we do here. We have a little cutting wheel that we use to do that. So we're going to cut these off pretty short because they're not really functioning anyway. We do that little bursting so we don't make the tooth too hot. Things to kind of spread her little cheeks open. Two or three different teeth that are going all kinds of different directions on the bottom. That's the uh, right lower molar area. And there's really too many teeth there. We may end up seeing if we can remove one of those. This is the other side. You can see how long that tooth is. That's on the left lower. It's a very long molar. It's, it's, and then it's behind it, there's some other molars that are not nearly as long. That can be shown. And appreciate the fact that that front molar is probably a tooth longer than the, than the molars behind it. Point out the big long molar. That's the big long one, and then there's some molars here in the back that are more normal in length. There's some points on those upper molars. We're going to work on this up, this lower molar that's so long first. So this tooth right here was the one that was so long. We've got it trimmed back where it's almost flat with the others. Now we're going to take the rest of them and trim them down a little bit more. Try to keep the tongue out of the way. Again, you try not to hold it on here too long. You don't want to make the tooth hot. They don't like that. 
This is just a little file just to try to help smooth it up. Uh, obviously not eating, not eating there. Really not eating anything, but not eating. And oftentimes it's not eating their veggies. Uh, a lot of times they'll have a runny nose. They're snorting. Sometimes they'll have a little bump or a little knot that develops along their face, either on the top jaw or the bottom jaw. And uh, those are all weight loss, skinny, skinny bunny. Uh, drooling is also one. Okay, let's see if we can put that on the big screen. This is that same side where we had that really long tooth. We trim that tooth down. And there you can see all the teeth are pretty much the same, same level. We've trimmed them back a lot. We trimmed the point off that back upper molar right back here. That side actually looks pretty good. 